Good morning, friends. It is so good to see you. I am coming to you this morning from one of my favorite places at Bethlehem, which is um, the Sunday school room where Jerry teaches. And it is completely and totally um, covered in hearts. So each of these hearts, sorry if I just made you motion sick, um, each of these hearts contains a prayer um, or a prayer request that someone has shared over the years. And it is an awesome space if you ever get a chance to come um, and read some of the prayers that have been shared in this space. It is, it is a holy place. Um, our reading for this morning comes from Isaiah uh, chapter 50, verses 4 through 9a. And it's if you want to follow along. And it says this, The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? So I'm thinking this morning, um, as we're talking about sustaining the weary with a word, that one of the ways that God sustains us in times like these is by offering us the hope that is found in spending time in God's word. So I hope that you are finding time in your day and space in your day to um, spend time just digging into what God has to say for you and listening for what God has to say with you. But I also am wondering, what are some other things you're doing at home to sustain yourself and your family during this time? Maybe we can share some ideas in the comments of things that you're doing that are bringing you hope or things that you are doing that are bringing you some energy, some life, some excitement, um, some of those things. So I hope um, that today, wherever you are and however this finds you, that you are um, finding ways to be sustained by God who loves you um, so much more than we can possibly imagine. And hope that by being down in this room filled with hearts that you are filling the love and hope today. I hope you have a wonderful day, friends. I will talk to you soon. God bless. Love you. Bye.